What's up ladies and jets? I'm Jay Kevy Metal and welcome back to Resident Evil 7. I hope you're all feeling well. I love you all and I thank you all for your support and watching my videos. And I also want to say that my channel just reached 30 subscribers. Um, I checked it like I think an hour and a half, two hours ago and it just reached 30 subscribers and um, I just I thank you all so much for that um, I, I, I do I, I couldn't have done it without you um, so having said that um, I love you all and uh, enjoy change camera nothing there I don't know, like nothing's there either. Nope, nothing there. You home. I hope I make it in time. Okay, bottom level. Ethan, there's the old boy. Ooh. Fucking hallucinations. Where is she? I don't know. But that's pretty cool that this old rotted ship is actually still going and has power to it. <laughs> Maybe there's a generator somewhere that's really, you know, got some good juice or something still. I don't know. That looked kind of funny though. But yeah, I had heard people talk about that. But I heard actually that when Resident Evil 6 came out, they said the kind of they said the same thing kind of when Resident Evil 6 came out, they were talking about it and they said that the sales were like over the top with Resident Evil 6. But they said a lot of that was because people liked it as a as a like action adventure type game, you know. But a lot of people were pissed off because it was it was starting to become from a horror adventure to an action adventure type thing. But, I don't know, I, I enjoyed it just the same really. You know, I've never been a, a scary type player, uh, if you know what I mean. It's like I, I don't really do jump scares too much. Um, there are times when like I'd be on my bicycle doing my route and it's like There'll be like an ambulance or a police car that'll drive by. I'll actually see the car, but it'll have its lights on and that horrible horn. And I'll hear that and I'll just, my nerves will cringe up. I, even if I see it, you know. So, I mean, it's not really saying anything when it comes to jump scares. So, I just, I'm not really, things like that don't really scare me, you know. Occasionally, I'll get a jump scare. Occasionally. But it has to be like when I'm really calmed down, there's no noises, and then all of a sudden, boo! You know, you see something come out of the corner, and, uh, you know, something like that. But very rarely does that ever happen. I think that's it in here. Yeah, because we got to get that gun eventually. This big old gun here that old Mia had. I don't know why she put it up. But anyway, uh... Okay, hold up. Go this way. And Bobblehead's down this way, I think. I think there's a Bobblehead down there somewhere. Not here, but uh, down here. Should be. Is there? I think you gotta shoot him or something. Or maybe he's... I don't know. Maybe he's not here. Could have swore he was. But anyway. Or maybe he's like right in front of my face somewhere and I just don't see him. I've been finding a few of them though. I think that's the door that leads into the... Yeah, there it is. That's nothing really special. Is there... Yeah, you can open this. Okay. Hey, an herb. Gotta have an herb. But 
But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess if you're looking for, if you have a game, I mean, I can understand where it come from because if you do have a video game, and it's like, it's always been about horror and adventure, I guess. And it's not about all guns being blazing, you know, and all that BS. I guess then, you know, I, I get that. I mean, if you're, if that's the kind of person you are and you, you really enjoy being scared and spooked, then, yeah, I'd be pretty pissed too about that. I can, I can get that. But it really did never matter to me, really. I mostly like games myself. I like games that are like uh, um, survival horror or anything with survival in it. Cable is completely fried. We had a replacement, but we had to use it to fix something in the 3F sick bay. You're going to have to go ask Dr. Watt, Waddle, Waddle for it. I'm <laughs> needed down in the number two engine room but I can't get down there unless we get this thing working okay so yeah I and I pretty much know where that is so I ain't really worried about that uh so that's 2f so yeah I'd have to go the other way but I gotta have the shoot tell you what why don't I go ahead and crawl up here I'll get this combat knife here that Mia had back in the time. But yeah, I've, I've always been about uh, survival games. Mostly it's survival games for me. It's always been like that. Um, games where you have to combine stuff to make things just like this one. I love them. Uh, they're so cool to me. I've always been deeply in into games like that. Um, yeah, I need to make some more. A yeah, I need to make some more ammo. So let me go ahead and do that. There ain't no strong. Well, I better. I, I better do that. Go ahead and do Kim fluid, and uh, combine. Yeah, do that. Item. All right, 21. All right, good. And I guess I'll stick with that. That's okay, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I need to put this here. Put that there. There we go. That'll work, I think. <clears throat> and I need to get those freaking... You cannot store this item. Okay, fine. I won't store it then. I won't do none of the such. I'll just keep on keeping on. Corrosive. But yeah, I like those types of games. They're fun. <laughs> yeah, I done used up a pile of chem, but I'll probably have to use it anyway. Special ops kind of is. Yeah, I'll probably have to read all those notes later in greater detail. I was thinking about doing that anyway for Control and some of the other games, reading notes on a different type of deal. Yeah, I was going to do that anyway. I was going to look at, uh, I was going to look up those notes. Every one of them. Wait a minute. He's not behind me, is he? No. Okay. Tell you what, I'm going to deal with him. Wherever he is. Where the hell do you go? Oh well, one less than I have to deal with. Oh, there you are. Did you in? Ah, oh, quit doing yoga. This thing is freaking powerful. What the? Let me in, damn it. 
Uh, I ain't got no corrosive stuff. Well, I do, but I really don't want to use it up. Dang it. Get off of that. Um... Yeah, I don't know if I want to use that, really. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Or maybe I can get through here. Oh, hello. Come on. Yeah, you're going to do better than that, Mr. Mold Man. I'm going to do a lot better than that, Mold Man. Uh, okay. I'm not even going to ask any questions. Actually, you know what that actually looks like right there? That looks like kind of the hand of the liquors. You know? That's what that looks like. Like there's something between a liquor and a whatever the hell that thing is. Mold man. <laughs> That's what I call a mold men. Because they're made of some sort of mold. I guess that's what they are. I don't, I don't really know. Oh, finally, no dead birds. Raccoon City, the survivors are still suffering. The survivors are still suffering. 16 years later. Really? Huh. Well, yeah, because you have to think there's Resident Evil 2, 3, 4, then you got 5 and 6, or 5 and 6, and then you got 7. So, and then Village is 8, so <clears throat> if you conclude that one. I saw your brother just a while ago. Nope. Nope. Quit trying to attack me with that frickin' hand. Make it hard for me to hit you. Nope. Quit it. You know better. You're... I'm, I'm over here, son. You're gonna have to do a little... You're gonna have to do better than that. I said quit doing yoga. Damn it. Yoga is not gonna make you a rot... Res yoga is not gonna resurrect you this time. These are bullets, son. Bullets. Lead. So shut up. <laughs> shut up and bow to me. Okay, I'm going in here. Cover me. Hey, you machine gun ammo. I wish you'd get the machine gun early, to be honest with you, but you can't. It's like you gotta kill a thousand of these with this little tiny pea shooter before you can actually get the machine gun. Of course, you know, by the time you get it, you... I mean, you still gotta kill the other things, but... It just make it easier. But the rate I'm going, I'm not really sure if that's the weapon I need. This one's actually seem like it's actually killing them better. With just a few shots here and there. That's the weird thing. They give you a machine gun that shoots like 60 some rounds. But yet, like 10, 15, 15 rounds seems like half the power of the rounds. Like three, three or five rounds of this one. It's like, it's silly. So like, why don't you just give me the damn handgun instead, or make the machine gun just as powerful as the handgun, and be done with it. Of course, then again, that would pretty much make it feel like it was on easy mode, so... They ain't gonna do that. <laughs> oh, this is a cool puzzle here. This is pro this is another one of my favorites. Okay, so basically these are set. So basically you gotta turn... 
I think you have to turn these... Okay, you got... Yeah. You have to turn these upright. Okay, that one... Yeah. Like that? Yeah, thank. And that one... So, you gotta turn it green up. There we go. Okay. Pretty much simple. Oh yes, corrosive. Gotta have my corrosive bottles so I can corrode something. Alright, so I'm going to hit this over here. Uh, well you can't do that. Hold on a minute, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put that there so that I can just eat. Well, that won't work. For some reason, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit this with corrosive. All right. Open up. Open sesame. Nothing in there. Probably not much strong chem fluid. I'll take it. Hey, Captain's Key. Good. Now we can get the machine gun. Yep, get that. And whatever else is in here. Not sure, don't think there is anything. Okay, I don't think... I think, yeah, that was opened. And there was nothing I could go down here with. Why don't I go to the cap? Why don't I get the captain's key and then, or why don't I go unlock the captain's thing, majig, whatever it is, and I'll get that. So let me go ahead and get that, and then oh, I can't go up. That's the point. I can't. <sighs> Shit. Okay. Well, then I'll go this way then. I'll have to find the... Here, let me save. Where's the save? Well, I gotta drop some stuff here anyway. Okay, let's see. Strong can I really don't think I'm gonna need that right now. I really don't. Um, Gunpowder. Uh, I tell you what. I will make one more gun... Um, Hell, I don't know. Strong Kim. Tell you what, I got one. Okay, I got some handgun ammo, so I'm not too bad on that. Still got three Kudorosas gunpowder. I'm going to leave the gunpowder there. Tell you what, screw it. I'll keep both options available because I'll probably need gun. I'll probably need gun ammo. Because I still got to get the captain's uh, rifle, so I'll just keep that available to me. So I'll do it that way. Alrighty. I think I can't remember from last time but I think the captain's quarters no 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 that's back down here I gotta go up here yeah because yeah because he was up here um, where the uh, dock was or the deck or whatever uh, try to, is it this way, or, I'm losing my way, guys, I have lost my way, no, 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 you go up, well, wait, 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 hold up a minute, get up here, okay, I know you can get, I know you can go that way, you can get up that way from there, but I'm pretty sure you can do it from this side, from 
from the stairs too. I think. Unless that door, yeah, I think it. Yeah, that door's blocked, so you can't go through there. Yeah, gotta climb. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get the captain's key for, or I'm gonna get the captain's gun first, and then I'm going to uh, get that other stuff. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Shifting the camera. Okay, now, gotta go down through here. I think this is how you do this. You do it like this. Oh, hello. Oh, I saw that. Gotcha. Yeah, don't think you can just jump on me like that. Uh. Oh, I don't have no bottles of nothing. Crap. All right, first things first. The rifle. <laughs> Get the rival. Come on. Where did, where did, there we go. Oh, hello. Nope. That's what I thought. Is there, is there another one out here? I don't think so. Yeah. That's right. I'm Mia. <laughs> Tell the others. I don't think there's any. I'll make sure there's. Okay. I don't think there's anything else left here. I don't think. No. I don't believe so. Is there anybody else out here to try and kill me? I don't think so. There better not be. That's all splatter your brains all over the wall. And then I'll blame Ethan. <laughs> okay, now I I don't think there's anything I think I got everything from before. So I'm gonna head trying to Oh yeah, I got the corrosives too, so I can uh I can head down. Alright. So or wait. Maybe I don't have to. Maybe I can just yeah, because you can go up here. I think the crow, or I think that the stuff you're needing. Nope, you ain't doing it. God, it's hard to hit him in the head with this thing. It's like jumpy as. Just stop moving there. I don't know if I mentioned this in the other walkthroughs or not, but I switched the aiming reticle to green because it just felt like you could actually see it, you know, rather than like the red or the blue or the others. I don't know, it just looks more transparent to me. You know, like you can actually, you know, do a better job at aiming and stuff. That's why I use it. It looks kind of weird because you're you're used to like a red or white dot, but it's just uh, it's like you can't like hardly see it sometimes. It's like you got to have something that's like odd, like a green dot. See, so I'm saying like in the dark, in in the dark, red is kind of well, uh, I don't know. It it just looks better to me, like you can aim better with it. That's why I use it. Is there anything in here? 